Do you have any routines or um, rituals before talk that you, you'd like to demonstrate for us? Maybe I'll like listen to some jazz music. Hi, my name is Malcolm. I'm from Massachusetts and I'm a first year missionary. Uh, today we went into the uh, Catholic high school for the first time as a whole group and we spent the entire day there giving talks on human dignity, uh, letting the students know that they're loved and they're meant to be loved. Yeah, it was really great. I, I love giving talks. I'm really passionate about speaking the truth of uh, the gospel uh, to high school students. A lot of them are going through a lot in this period of time, and this is a really great time to be there with them and to walk with them. So it's more of a, it feels like a privilege, you know, being able to be there for them. Yeah, just uh, had multiple talks today on human dignity. This is round three. Super pumped. It's best period, it's last period, and we're just gonna make it rock, you know? I was just finishing my job as a youth and young adult minister, and I was actually planning on going into the military, into the Air Force. Prior, I served at least three years as a missionary with a couple different organizations, and I thought my, my years of ministry were over, and it was time for me to uh, start a career, uh, especially within the military. It was really a moment of the Holy Spirit working in, in that moment of tugging my heart uh, towards ministry. I was in the middle of <clears throat> a job training that was going to hold me over and, until I was entering and I was waiting to swear in at that point. And I had a friend who sent me a text uh, during a job training saying, have you ever prayed about becoming a Culture Project missionary? And I can't really explain what it was until that moment. And I felt my heart say go and I felt my heart just being tugged in a very uh, hard direction. And I was confused. I was a little uh, scared because I knew that's what, where my heart wanted to go. So it took a very big leap of faith. It was uh, scary, but as soon as I walked into the seminary for the first day of training, I felt super peaceful. I knew this is where God wanted me to be. Let me tell you how those talks went. Um, <laughs> they were adventurous. That was definitely, uh, it was just trying to find a flow of being able to uh, work on class management, making sure they're engaged. Uh, even those that were a little against what we were talking about, you could see there were some different opinions in the room because these are very hard, uh, sensitive topics. And on, some of it is it's just very controversial, uh, especially to the world. Uh, stumbled a little bit here and there because his first couple talks uh, in front of a classroom of students. But I'm really proud of how far I've come. I felt really confident there. Um, I was partnered with Olivia and Genesis uh, today, and they just did a phenomenal job. Just having them there with me uh, made a huge difference for sure. Thank you so much for watching. It's been great uh, having you hang out with me today and just following the life of a missionary with the Culture Project. Uh, continue uh, to pray for us. We'll be praying for you. I'm just going to go ahead and just get some work done. And it's just going to be a great time. So keep it real. Keep us in your prayers. We love you. Have a great night. Adios. Hasta la vista. Uh, yeah, it's a great time to be alive. It's fun, the Contra Project organization. Uh, make sure to follow.